This chart shows you math, a mathematical certainty. And from it, you can learn and understand deeply why you should buy Bitcoin and other things like hard assets, whatever. But mostly the only absolute scarce thing on earth, which is Bitcoin, because of what the U.S. government is going to keep doing. They won't stop. They will never stop. They will not stop taking debt and they will not stop printing money. They will do that until they can't do it anymore, at which point it'll all come tumbling down and the world will have to move to a different reserve currency and maybe we have a Bitcoin back standard. I don't know, but things are going to change and it's going to be very volatile. And those that understood this are going to own the scarcest asset in the history of the universe, which is Bitcoin, which is going to have the strongest purchasing power because it is the scarcest thing in the universe. And for every extra dollar that they borrow, print, or inflate, I guess print, inflate, same thing, but even modern banking system inflates because the fractional reserve nature of it, et cetera, the value of something like Bitcoin and other hard assets, real estate, cash producing businesses, even gold and silver to an extent, these things are going to skyrocket in purchasing power because everybody's going to want them because they will no longer be able to store their wealth in dollars or currency or any other fiat currency. That's why these things will become so valuable and the prices will rise, even though price in fiat, you know, it's not really a thing when it's hyperinflating. The price doesn't matter, but the purchasing power does. We went from 31.4 trillion in less than a year, mind you, to 34 trillion. Doesn't sound like a lot, but look at this. This is how long it took us to get to 7 trillion, 215 years right? And this is how long it took us to get seven more trillion. Two years. Mathematical truth. You cannot disprove any of this. So let's break it down again, simply. The U.S. government will keep printing money. The U.S. government will keep borrowing money. Every fiat currency dies because of these two things, basically. So all fiat currencies are collapsing against Bitcoin and other hard assets that people want to own, scarce resources, scarce assets. This is mathematical truth. Bitcoin is the only one that's absolutely scarce. It's the scarcest thing in the known universe. Period, full stop. Everything else is out there, but not more Bitcoin, okay? When you add these things together, you have a very simple equation that basically makes it this. This is what it makes it. If you are not dollar cost averaging into Bitcoin today and every day into the future, you are making the single greatest financial mistake of your lifetime. And eventually, as this goes even higher, hyperinflates, and the whole world wakes up to it, and they say, I don't want dollars anymore. I want something else. Those scarce assets are going to skyrocket because everybody's gonna want them. This is supply and demand economics 101. Mathematical truths. When you understand math de deeply like this, and it's not even deeply, it's just like basic. It's like one plus one equals two. When you understand these as facts that will not change, it becomes so obvious to you. And then you want to own and you want to park your financial sovereignty into something that is truly scarce that will combat this, that will protect you in your financial future and sovereignty. And that's Bitcoin. It's not altcoins controlled by people, whatever. It's truly decentralized, absolute scarce Bitcoin, which is the only thing there is. All the other stuff isn't. Stocks aren't. They can issue more shares. Companies go under all the time. There's uh, all kinds of risks associated with them. Gold, they make more of it, right? What if they find a bunch at the bottom of the sea floor? Then gold's going to plummet, right? Or we can mine asteroids eventually. So on and so forth. Dollar cost average today. Just buy $5 a day, $10 a day, whatever it is. Every single day, no matter what, no matter if it's up or down, just keep buying. And it will be the single greatest financial decision you've ever made. And you will avoid making the single greatest financial blunder of your lifetime.